What's up guys, my name is Michael and today Apple just released iOS 12.3 beta one to developers. So Apple is moving at a very fast rate right now with uh, beta releases. We just saw the final release of iOS 12.2 after a very long stream of betas for that release. And today we finally have the first beta of iOS 12.3. So if I jump into settings here, just to show you that I am indeed running iOS 12.3, you can see there iOS 12.3 running on my iPhone 10R. Before updating, I think I had somewhere around 49.8 gigabytes available, and now I have 49.6. So installing this did take up a little bit of storage on my iPhone. Not that much though, not uh, anything you have to get worried about. The one big change is the new Apple TV app. So we have a completely redesigned Apple TV app and also a new icon. So I'll zoom in here so you can see this new icon. Uh, whenever you install a beta, by the way, it will come with this feedback application. So you can just go ahead and hide that in a folder if you don't want to see that. But this is the new Apple TV icon. I really like this. It is still a black icon in the background, but they now have changed the logo. It is now a blue Apple TV logo, and I really like the way it looks. So let's go ahead and open it and take a look at the UI. So I don't have an iPhone running iOS 12.2, so I can't show you what is new. I do know that uh, iOS 12.2 had five tabs at the bottom, and now the TV app in 12.3 only has three tabs, so that is a change. At the top, we have movies, TV shows, sports, and kids. We have up next, so you can continue what you were watching on another device. We have a whole bunch of recommendations now. So Apple is using uh, recommendations, AI, artificial intelligence to uh, recognize what type of shows you like to watch and uh, recommend something that they think you might want to watch in the future. So we have what to watch for you. And then we have a whole bunch of just uh, curated lists from the Apple editors in the TV app here. So it looks a little bit nicer. This is coming to Mac iOS devices and Apple TV. So Apple really wants the TV app to be on as many devices as possible. So I am really glad that they are cleaning up the Apple TV app and making it look a bit nicer. Next up is in Apple Pay. So I actually don't have any cards enrolled in Apple Pay on this phone, so I took a screenshot from Reddit. So now whenever you have a purchase in Apple Pay, it will now show the location of that purchase. So very simple, whenever you click on a purchase and you wanna view its information, it now shows a separate tab in a map where you can actually see uh, wherever you made that purchase. So that's kinda cool. If you ever forget where that money came out of, you can go ahead, look in your map, and see where you made that purchase. So that is really nice. One final thing that uh, someone mentioned on Twitter from someone I follow, if you go here and you look at some of the assets for iOS 12.3, they do include some images of the new Apple credit card. So I'm guessing iOS 12.3 is gonna come out sometime in the next three or four months when Apple is ready to release their credit card because iOS 12.3 here has all the assets and all the images for the Apple card. So that is kind of interesting that they do have that built in now. And uh, yeah, guys, that is iOS 12.3, kind of a small update other than the completely redesigned TV app, we don't really have that much more in this update. If I missed anything, you can tell me in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. My name is Michael. I'll see you in the next video.